President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who at one time expressed strong support for the Ergenekin investigation a probe of a clandestine terrorist organization within the military and bureaucracy even declaring himself the prosecutor of the investigation, is now claiming that he was deceived by those who carried out the inquiry. The president's backpedaling came during a speech he delivered to hundreds of senior military officials at the Turkish War College's command on Thursday evening and included his claims of a parallel structure, a term invented by Erdogan and his associates within the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, to refer to followers of the Gulen movement, also known as the Hizmet movement, a grassroots social initiative inspired by Turkish Islamic scholar Fethullah Gulen. Ergenekin is a terrorist organization accused of working to topple the democratically elected government in Turkey. Its existence was discovered when the police found a number of hand grenades in a shanty house in the Umraniye district of Stanbul in 2007. The suspects, who included members of the military, businessmen and journalists, appeared before a court for the first time in 2008 in what many described as the trial of the century. The suspects were sentenced to lengthy prison terms by the Stanbul 13th High Criminal Court in August 2013 but were released after the AK Party revised legislation abolishing specially authorized courts, OYM, that oversaw the case and decreased the maximum period of detention before a final verdict to five years. In 2008, then leader of the Republican People's Party, CHP, Denise Baikal, said on many occasions that he was the lawyer of the Ergenekin detainees. Then Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan reacted to his statements by warning Baikal against influencing the trial process and responding, if you are the lawyer for the members of Ergenekin then I am the prosecutor of this investigation. The AK party and Erdogan first showed signs of backtracking on investigations such as Ergenekin after a major corruption investigation in which 52 suspects, including bureaucrats, prominent businesspeople and the sons of three former ministers, were detained on December 17, 2013 on charges of bribery and transferring gold to Iran in order to undermine a US-led sanction against the country. The retrial of military officers in critical cases such as the Ergenekin Terror Organization and the Balayas, Sledgehammer, coup investigation was initiated after then-Deputy Prime Minister Yalm Akdoğan wrote an op-ed in a pro-government newspaper stating that convicted officers had been framed by groups within the judiciary in December 2013, days after the graft investigations went public. The infamous Sledgehammer case was an investigation into the plans for an attempted coup initiated in 2010 when Tariff Daily journalist Mehmet Berensu gave a number of CDs purported to contain plans for the coup that were made by military officials and their collaborators to a prosecutor. The Tariff Daily published the coup plot on its front page on January 20, 2010. Berensu was recently arrested for having obtained and published the documents in a development that casts further doubts about freedom of expression in the country. After Tariff's initial publication of the Balias coup documents, Erdogan had said, Do you think we were not informed of these coup plans? We were hearing these for seven years but chose not to be the side increasing tensions. Erdogan accuses members of the police force and the judiciary who are inspired by the Hizmet movement of being behind the investigation, and he claims it tried and failed to overthrow him and his government. He is now waging a self-declared war against the movement, going so far as to say, if reassigning individuals who betray this country is called a witch hunt, then yes, we will carry out this witch hunt during a speech at the 22nd consultation and assessment meeting of the AK party in 2014. The whole country and I were misdirected and deceived with these operations, which mixed up truth and lies, right and wrong, Erdogan said Thursday, arguing that Turkey witnessed a coup by a structure nested within the state that attempted to seize the country. Let me say this sincerely, I never approved the arrest of commanders, including our former Chief of General Staff retired General Kerbabu, whom I worked with. I also conveyed my disturbance to those who carried out those investigations, he said. Octave Ural, the parliamentary group deputy chairman for the Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, called Erdogan's statements a U-turn saying of Erdogan, you were roaring like a lion, calling yourself the prosecutor of the investigation.
you were giving an armored vehicle worth TL1 trillion to the prosecutor Zeke Reounce to use. You were saying, we ended the tutelage. Now you're saying they the Hizmet movement conducted a coup against us. You were like a cat that spilled its saucer of milk in front of the army command. Zeke Reounce, once hailed by pro-government circles, later vilified for December 17th probes. Zeke Reounce, the deputy chief public prosecutor for Stanbul who was previously praised by pro-government circles during the Ergenikin trials, was later vilified for being the deputy chief prosecutor overseeing the graft probes that went public on December 17, 2013. Ounce was first reassigned to Bola province and demoted to the position of a standard prosecutor. He was then later subjected to an investigation launched by the Supreme Board of Judges and Prosecutors, HSYK, and subsequently suspended from duty for the duration of the trial. The former public prosecutor had also been allocated a private armored vehicle and five bodyguards during the Ergenikin investigations, but these were taken back by the Interior Ministry after the corruption investigations went public in 2013. Former police chief, Erdogan told me to arrest as many people as possible. Erdogan's statements contradict those of former Stanbul Police Department Intelligence Bureau Chief Ali Fuad Ilmazer, who claimed that it was then Prime Minister Erdogan who gave the order for the arrest of Babu. Erdogan denied the claim and filed a criminal complaint against Ilmazer last year, who responded with a counter complaint. Ilmazer also claimed that Erdogan ordered him to arrest as many people as possible as part of the Ergenikan investigation. As we prepared lists of people to be detained as part of the investigation and submitted the lists to the Prime Minister, he told me to ensure the arrests of as many people as possible, Ilmazer stated. He said Erdogan thought people would not believe the seriousness of the Ergenikan case if numerous people were not arrested. Ilmazer is currently being detained, alongside former intelligence unit chief Ramazan Akurek, on charges of negligence related to the assassination of Turkish-Armenian journalist Hrant Dink, then editor-in-chief of the Agos newspaper, who was shot dead outside the newspaper office in the Sisli district of Stanbul on January 19, 2007. Many suggest the operations against former police officers are nothing but acts of revenge by the government for the 2013 corruption probes that targeted numerous individuals close to the government.